For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back, and today we got our daily snapping filters, and truthfully today, it's getting a little more interesting than it's usually been, because if you see these prices of these Ultimate Legends, they are crazy cheap. So, I'm going to start with the low ball guys first, you know, the guys with less coins, because I seem like I don't give them enough love sometimes, so for the guys with less coins, right here, these 87s are going to be amazing to be making coins on, so... 12k, I recommend sorting by Kellen and Ladaning because they are the newest ones. But either any of them will work. So if you sit here and you you put it, I put the Chargers Ultimate Legends 86, 87, and you refresh, these go for about base 13k. So if you can get them for like 8k and you resell them, you make about 3k a piece. You can, in about an hour, you can probably make like 50k doing this, which is pretty good for people with less coins that literally only have 50k. So doubling their coins is a lot to them. Very very useful filter. Highly recommend. Now, for people with a little more coins, again, you can just keep going, you know, the same, the way this usually works, you just keep going up. The Ultimate Legends are crazy. I, I'm, I'm kind of pissed that I bought mine as early as I did. They are crazy cheap. Now, I know for future reference, don't buy the Ultimate Legends the first day. The market's dead on them, though. That's the thing. They're dead. Like, for the rest of the year, Mark, Ultimate Legends should be cheap. Maybe Vic will bring them back up. He might be one of the expensive ones. All right, so right here, same thing. Chargers actually apply all the way up, now that I think about it. So, 18K. What you want to do is you want to get these for about 14k. You get these for 14. You sell. You make about two to three k again. Again, 50k an hour. The profit margin stays about the same right there. Um, 1991. I know there's some. Hold up. All right. So Sean Taylor, Calvin. Let's see how much these Sean Taylors go for. So about 33k. So you want to get these for about 28k. You get these for 28. You make about 3k. So far. They're all about a profit of 3K-ish for each one you get. That should go up as you keep going up. All right, and that's the 94s, 95s. So you got Kellen Winslow and Mike Allstott at the bottom. Let's filter these out to Chargers. So you want to get these for about 110. You can get these like 105 to 110. You will be making a profit of about 5 to 10K, depending on the exact price you get them for. These are useful. The, well, the reason I don't say 10K less than the other ones, that the, or the other ones people don't put up for is low. Like people will sell them at 8K or 18K, 13K, but they won't sell them at like 4K, 3K. Like it happens. It's a snipe. It happens, but not consistently. All right, now, not for the big boys. So this Ladanian Tomlinson is going for about 320. He should rise in price at some point, but for now you want to get this guy at about 280, like 280 ish. You'll make about 20k to end your selling for about 330 to 340, and then Kellen Winslow same thing. You want it for about 280, 300, similar price. Now let's go to the the high the high high ones. Also. If you guys haven't, I recommend for training, just, you know, if right now training's at an all-time low, go buy some 97 Ultimate Legends. Just go buy them and stock up on them. Training's at an all-time low. You can get that new limited time Aaron Donald and Patrick Mahomes for like 700K. It's, it's, it's way worth it. It's definitely, definitely worth it. I highly recommend. Now, for Calvin, you're going to want Calvin at about 430. Four, 430 at least because when you click when you sell them, it's gonna, you're going to lose a reduction of about 50K. So, you want him for about 430 and then you'll get, and then you'll make about 20K. Same thing with Sean Taylor, 430. That applies for almost all of them. I don't know. I feel like these cards have to rise up. Like 98 overall cards, 97 overall cards. They can't be this cheap. If you because if you look, Todd Gurley and Bob Wagner haven't dropped, but obviously that's because they're team of the year and they have no they're not in packs anymore. But look at them. They're still they're still up there in price. Bob Wagner's useless now though. If you have Ray Lewis and Ranch Ranch here, you're set. You're set for the year. There's no. I'm happy I have those two. I was just thinking about getting rid of Vic and getting this Mahomes because I love Mahomes. But um, I compared the stats. I understand that my Vic's powered up and everything, but when you compare the stats, like even both of them, they're almost the same. Powered up completely. Vic has a 96 speed. Mahomes has a 90, 92, I would believe. Yeah, he has like a 92 speed with everything at the, for my camps. Throw power is both going to be a 99. Short accuracy, both going to be a 90. Uh, he's gonna, Mahomes going to be like a 90, 99. And then Vic is a 90, um, 98. Something like that, and the medium accuracy, Mahomes is gonna be like, um, what is he gonna be? 96. Vic's gonna be a 92 or 93. Deep accuracy, Mahomes is going to be a 90. 
probably like a 98. Vic's like a 95. No big deal. Throw under pressure. They're both, they, they all hit the thresholds. Throw under pressure is going to be like a 95. Moe's going to be like a 93. Throw on the runs, both the 99. And then play action is both going to be slightly above the threshold. Like, I don't see a difference in these cards besides Vic's a better runner. And it's really depressing because I really want this Mahomes. I wanted, I wanted an excuse to switch to him. Once Ultimate Legend Vic comes out, he will be the best card in the game once again if he's still not already, which he probably is. So that's it for those filters. Now, I have more market tips, so stay tuned. Don't check out yet. Um, first, I recommend getting scouts because, like I've been saying, these players are, well, I, I think the best set to be doing, in my opinion, for anyone building it, not people to make just coins, but to build a, an efficient, the reason my team is so good without buying packs is because I built an efficient team. Like, I don't spend, I mean, I, I do now because now I'm like, I'm doing YouTube and like, I'm trying to entertain, but I did not for the beginning of the year. So I rec I highly, oh, that's, I was, I was supposed to be in the store. So what I recommend is this set right here. You get a 97 overall player for about 200k. That's so worth it. You don't understand. And scouts are going to go down. So when you wait, you just wait for when the scout the scout uh, market meltdown happens. And that is when these will be super cheap. Like, you're getting a player that powered up will be... You're getting 99 overall players pretty much for 200K. That's a steal and a half. Like, I, there's no other way around that. You got to do it. I'm, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to probably... On stream today, I'm probably going to be picking it up. I need to just pick up some more scouts. I'll go show you guys the cheapest scouts real quick. It's way worth it. I want the Von Miller, preferably. Or even one of the cornerbacks. I'd probably get rid of Champion if I got one of the cornerbacks. So, the cheapest team builder. Let's go look. All right. Let's go see. Let's sort these out. So, you're going to need one of these guys. But they're only 180. That's not bad. And I'm pretty sure they quick sell for like 11K. And then you want... Um, where are the 95s? So, for 250. No, 253, 250, 240. Five. So 245 right now for 197 overall, but you can snipe these out obviously. You can snipe these out for about 200k at some point, or you can even snipe these 94s out for like 140, and then you can get that in something else. Like it's very simple, very very simple, highly worth it. I recommend getting it. Now, if you do all on coins and you don't have the coins to spend, you're trying to make coins. Like I know you're trying to get your coins here and you know flip them, then save your coins. But if you got the coins like me to spare, I'm gonna be doing one on stream today, maybe even two. I'll let you guys know. So uh, pop out to the stream. I did post a link on Twitter earlier of my Twitch, Poodle underscore gaming. Hi, uh, please go follow me on Twitch and go check me out. I will be streaming after this video is up. So probably around like uh, 12 o'clock, I will be up and streaming. Probably till 5. Like a 5-hour stream, hopefully. Very excited to do my first long, long stream. I've done a few, but this is my first real, real stream on Twitch. And I'm going to be, I just, I have a guy with the works for Twitch overlays and banners and a bunch of cool be back screens and stuff. Got some animations, so... You know, big things are happening, guys. I'm excited to show you guys all of it when it's time. Now, you know, we got to open some packs to out this. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my polls in the last two days, both were on stream, so you guys got to come out to the stream. That's where all the, the streamer luck's uh, real at that time. I got a DeAndre Hopkins first pack on stream, 330K quick sell elite. I know to all you guys watching who are in the stream, you guys are going to comment down below, right? And let me let, let me know that you guys are here for that. Comment, um, comment, comment streamer luck if you were in the stream to see that. Also... What is your favorite team MVP? Comment down below what you guys is your favorite team MVP that you guys all want. I want Von Miller personally. Comment what you guys want down below and let me know how many coins you guys got. And now uh, let me pop some gold player packs. I don't know. The streamer luck is way more real than the YouTube luck. I'm not kidding. Oh, and then, and then yesterday I opened up my level 71 pack and pulled 95 Calvin. Streamer luck's a real thing. It really is. I 100% go with it now. All right. Two for good luck. Let's see. I'll have to save some coins for streamer luck, though. It's way more real than uh, YouTube luck. LaTroy Lewis. No, these packs are ass. All right. No mas packs. No mas. I got 2,800 scouts. I got to work on that. Also, I have one more thing to ask of you guys before I'm out. Comment down below. What should I do here, please? Tight end. So if my 95 power pass, do I go Kittle or Lawrence Taylor? Comment down below if I go Kittle or Lawrence Taylor. Do I replace Travis Kelsey? Please answer these questions. Do I power up Sean Taylor? Do I replace DeMarcus Ware with Von Miller? Do I replace Darius Leonard with Lawrence Taylor? I think Lawrence Taylor is a definite, actually. And uh, do I replace Champ Bailey or Kyle Fuller with um, either Josh Norman, Xavier Howard, or there's one other guy that I can't remember right now. But that's about it. 
So that's about it for the video, guys. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Also, please comment down below if you've been enjoying the outro. I want to make sure I'm trying to perfect it. And also, I'm working on a new logo and a new banner in the works. So hopefully you guys didn't like my old logo too much because it's going to be gone. I'm not a fan of it too much. It's cool. It's cool for my first thing. It was a cool first time experience in me graphic editing. But we got some cooler stuff in the works now. And I'm trying to perfect my brand for the long haul. So thank you guys for watching. Comment down below all the questions I was asking. If you've been enjoying my content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're currently at 214 subs. We're going for 300 this month, maybe even 400, hopefully. And, you know, hopefully 1,000 by July. So that, that's the pace we're growing at right now. So thank you guys. I'm out. See you later.